Hello and welcome back to End Survival Episode 5, I believe. I had to think that. <laughs> and even that is a guess. But anyways, welcome back to the series where in this episode we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what we have been doing. Lately we have been, um, well, we have been searching around the... What's the word I'm looking for? I just went completely blank. Exploring. We have been exploring the world. We have found some very cool biomes. We now have food. We now have these growing, which is absolutely amazing. And oh my, there's a lot of flowers on those. Um, so that is growing very nicely. And I also think we planted something here. We did indeed plant these and the lilies right here, which we can actually... Um, I think the only thing we can use them for is smelt them. And then we can turn them into paper. So... That's cool, we have a little farm of these here, that's nice, I guess. Um, and in the last episode, we also got this Umbrella Cluster Juice, which we could actually use a glass bottle and get that purple stuff up there. Now, in the last episode, um, apparently the mod version I was running with was um, old. So, now I have updated it and I've noticed a few things. Firstly, I want to try this Umbrella Cluster Juice again. Hopefully the bug has been fixed. But also, um, I think I was told that there were some new metal. And I think it, this is it. Um, either this or this or both. Thalassium and Terminite. Um, they're, they're both new materials. And we also have this endstone smelter, which again, I wasn't, I'm wasn't. i not sure if we actually had those um, prior to the new version. Um, so this is all very cool and interesting looking, but I don't think... So this is an ore, and I'm pretty sure this ore was not there um, previously either. Um, so this is very interesting as well. So we need to be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, so you make terminite using iron or that, and then you can actually do some getting some extra ore here using this endstone smelter so that's really cool um now one thing that i did want to make as well is i again i don't know if this was a thing prior to the update um but we can make an endstone furnace using just normal endstone so i thought why not because we have this normal furnace right now i would like a cooler looking one so let's go ahead and grab some quick endstone here Hopefully not gonna die to these uh, <laughs> to these guys. So let me grab some endstone real quick. It should do just fine. And let's make a proper end furnace because uh, that, that the one we have is a little bit um, you know it's great but a little bit too vanilla. When you say I I'm gonna say this. So endstone like that, and we have an endstone furnace, and it functions just like a normal furnace. Except that it has this thing. Oh, I love that. I love that. The normal, the vanilla... Oh. Oh. I thought that was... Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but anyways, we also got these cooked fish in the last episode. So I highly recommend that you check that episode out. Um, I'm gonna drink this when I'm hungry to see if it actually fills up any hunger. But in this episode... Um, we will not be exploring, we will be doing a little bit of a building project, because um, as you can see, uh, the, the old, as you know, the, we are surrounded by islands. And it is quite inefficient for me right now using the stone pickaxe to make bridges everywhere. So I thought maybe it's a good idea to get... This is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is a good idea for me to get a little bit of a farm going. An enderman farm to be, to be specific. Now I can't make a proper enderman farm, um, but I can make a structure that I can stand under, under in a pretty open field, just luring the enderman over, and uh, hopefully that is going to work nicely. So that is the plan for this episode. I don't think there's much I want to bring other than maybe two of these endstone lanterns. The rest we will get on the way because I don't actually want to use this umbrella tree log. I want to use something else. What's that? Oh yeah, and toxin ore. We already, I think we got that, didn't we? I don't know if we did. Maybe, maybe just me thinking stuff. So 
for us to do this, I want to go back to where we were, a little bit close to where we were in the last episode, where there was a quite big area of open space where these guys can spawn and we can lure a bunch of them in. Now the main idea for this is going to be that we can get a bunch of ender pearls that we can use for traveling purposes and I don't know if they have another usage as such. Oh, we can make Eye of Ender this way, that's interesting. Ender block, pedestal, Endorium nugget. So they do seem to have a use. Endorium ingot, which can then be used with some stuff and stuff. How do you get that? Huh. I mean, that's armor right there from End, of end Rebellion. That's not better, and that's End Rebellion right there. Um, so this is actually a bunch of interesting things. So that's very cool. So that is the mission for today. And I must say, getting armor is going to be very nice because those Endermen, they they uh, they really hit hard. They hit very hard. Just want to stop by this place here to see if there was a lamp or something that I potentially missed that I can bring along. But I don't think there is. There's an... Mm, you know what? Having a ender chest is actually going to be very beneficial, having that as a sort of an outpost. It is actually going to be a little bit of an outpost we make, I guess, because it is going to be close to that amber biome, which is going to be very nice because we will need to get over there to mine for more amber. All right, here we go. I need to eat. Okay. <laughs> Gotta stop up. Look for this, look around you, make sure there's no weird cliffs and whatnot, and then you can eat safely. Sorta. Of. I could make it here, we have plenty of Enderman, but I want to go somewhere else, beyond that tower over there, to somewhere else. Now, that is something that we want to find in the near future, that is an end city, and I'm hoping to be able to find that soon, which is also what motivated me to get, um, I thought that was an Enderman, uh, to get these ender pearls because it means we can travel a lot easier. For example, I could just pearl over there and get going, not having to worry about making a ton of fennoing bridges. Now, here we are. This is the wood that I want to get. Um, if we just take this right here, mossy glow room log, this right here. If we take a look here, you can see that we get this very nice blue color instead of this very it's it's looking good but it's stuck and i want this uh this nice green one so i'm thinking of getting a bunch of this stuff right here what was that i thought i saw an ore so i just there's this huge tree trunk right here that i'm thinking of pretty much just harvesting we might not just wait a little bit we might not use all of it, and I don't even know what I'm gonna do as a design, um, but I'm just gonna take all of it, and then we can store the rest of it for other another time. How does that sound? I think that is a plan. And this guy is gonna be very annoying to listen to. Now, just while mining this wood, I would like to say uh, that if you're interested in supporting me and getting access to this specific mod pack that I'm using, there is a link to my Patreon page down below in the description, which you can go ahead and check out. People that support me on there get access to stuff like my mod packs, so you would get access to this mod pack, you would get access to my Icefire Season 2 mod pack, and in the future, other things as well. I'm working on more things to add. Ow! He, he, he hits hard. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in supporting me uh, in such a way, well, you can. I just thought I'd plug it in there while I'm mining some of this wood. This is actually a lot of wood. I might not end up taking all of it. I already have like close to two stacks now, and I think that is going to be more than enough for what I want to do. So I think I'm actually going to leave the rest here. Um, this was a lot bigger than I had anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we'll just leave the rest here and get on uh, to the building. So let's do that. Moving on. We could even grab some of that orange wood actually um, and use that in the build as well. I might go ahead and see the color of the plank um, because that isn't a totally bad idea. 
idea. Helix tree bark. Yeah, it's very nice actually. So I might go ahead and walk in the forest over there and uh, grab a tree or two. But this is pretty much where I wanted to put it. We have a pretty open area. As you can see, there are so many endermen we could just look at and they will just come raging towards us. Now, what is that? I think that is just a tree or a crystal thing. Yeah, it's just crystal. Um, so I'm gonna drink this umbrella cluster juice real quick and we'll see what happens. Ooh. That's really good, actually. Unfortunately, it does uh, consume the glass bottle as well, um, which the main artist for Better End actually told me uh, is a bug currently. But even so, this is not th that's not bad food. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there. That's not bad food. Um, I'm thinking because I want this place to be kind of level now I could remove this if I wanted to but I think actually building it here is not such a bad idea. So time to build this thing which I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm just gonna be real with you I am not sure what I'm actually going to do. <laughs> um, I don't have much of a plan at this point in time. Uh, so this could end up being very ugly and not look very good, but um, I'm gonna try my best. We can even strip it, which is not a bad idea to get more things. What else can we make? We can of course make barrels, we can make everything with this stuff, so that's really cool. I really love how this wood looks. Yeah. You can use it for the vanilla stuff of course, make wooden stuff. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, hey guys, this is actually gonna be how you die. <laughs> Alright, so, an enderman cannot be here, cannot teleport inside if it's uh, less than three blocks. So that is the thing that I want to keep in mind, so I want to start having a roof right at this block right there. That is gonna be the goal of it. Um, so having slabs going here and out is gonna be beneficial for us. So I'm actually gonna make a crafting table real quick. Oh, I only had one. Oh well. This is going to be our uh, base of operation. So I'm actually gonna make a furnace, put down a chest and a crafting table and such. And that tree is gonna be, well, I call it a tree because I kind of envision a small tree in a way. Um, but that thing <laughs> is gonna be our base of operations out here in this place if that makes any sense whatsoever. So endstone furnace, just like that. We can make a nice looking chest, just like that. And I'm actually gonna pick that one up because this wood right here is going to look a lot better. I like that. Next, I'm gonna make a bunch of these and then a bunch of these. And I'm gonna place some slabs out here because Enderman cannot spawn. Uh, in two and a half block tall roofs. So that is why we're doing that. And again, what I'm gonna do after that, I am not quite sure, but I'm kinda imagining a roof like this. Maybe go out one more because we definitely want some uh, room to maneuver in because they do hit hard and they can reach in, which we don't want happening. I kinda like this here. Um, let's place some light here so we can see better. Right, again, not sure how I'm supposed to take this. I feel like this is a good sized roof. Only thing is I'm gonna be walking here and, well, then I just shouldn't walk there. Let's, let's, uh, let's test it real quick. Let's make a stone sword. I think it's about time I got a proper weapon instead of this axe because I'm using it so much for wood. So you get over here, right? So I get hit by this block here. And he gets stopped there. And yeah, you know what? This is this. I think this is a pretty good place to stand. And I can even jump with this uh, roof here to make a critical hit. I think this is gonna work so far. I think we're getting somewhere. So I've kind of come up with this idea right here. Having a little bit of a ledge, it kind of makes it look nicer from the inside as well. And plus the Enderman will be stopped here 
instead of, well, okay, it is the same place, but it, it looks nicer. And then I thought maybe including some stairs here might make it look even better, and then we can have stairs on top as well. So here's the top, so maybe if we just place some stairs in like this, potentially. I think that could work. Maybe let's not place all of them in. Let's do something like that and see for distance. Yeah, that's not too bad. I don't think I'm gonna place it here that it just gets too pointy. And yeah, I don't I thought I don't think I'm gonna like that. So Oh dear. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> so I think something like this is gonna be the way to go. Alright, there we go. Now, I actually got a little bit of an idea. If we place this endstone up here, we could actually plant some uh, tourist fruit up here actually growing so we have food close to us. We could go, I don't think there's any more left, but we could get some at home. So if we fill this up with that, then we could even potentially uh, continue this, I don't know, thing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm making here in the middle. Um, a little bit up. Maybe with some ladders so we can reach up so it actually has a function. I think I kind of like the sound of that. So if we have a layer here, if we go a one, two, three, four, five, five, I think five is gonna be good. And then we can have ladders just on two of the sides. Oh, they look great. They look great. They look amazing. Yeah, I think I like that because then we can use them to climb up, harvest the tourist fruit, and then just teleport down when we've eaten some. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I think I like that. Maybe have a little bit of a, I want a little bit of a top on it, but I don't know what or how. All right, we got another tester here because apparently I angered one of them somehow, but it is actually working very well for this. And we have a great view of the Enderman here, and we can take them out quite easily with this thing right here. I also, I just added this beam here. Of course, we want a way of being able to get up. And I think I like it. If we just have ladders on two of those, and then potentially add more beams, not just up with ladders. We could even have the ladders on the inside, but I don't think that would look as good then again maybe it would actually this beam might even get a uh, another use if we put it here then we could get up here and then we could go to the sides doing that i think i like that now i just want to quickly figure out what to do on the top here because i want to get access to the top obviously so i can take uh, take the flowers so I want access to this bit right here, but I want there to be some sort of closure to it, I guess. I could do that, then stand on that, and then build something. Actually, I think I'm getting an idea. So if I have that here, I can stand shifted onto that, right? I can stay shifted onto that, whoops. All right, I think I am somewhat happy with this. Uh, result right here. So we have the pillars here. We have this trap door covering this lock going up right here We have this going down. So we are nice and cozy in here and I quite like it except for the flooring I might need to figure something out for the floor. I might have an idea for that, but I'm not quite sure yet um, But then over here we Oh Come on, <laughs> I didn't even look at you Stop moving Aye, aye, aye. Anyways, moving on. Uh, we have a ladder going up here. We still need some endstone in here. Then we have the trap door so we can close it if we don't want it open. And up here we will have a tourist fruit uh, growing, which will also make this look prettier. Um, but then we could use the ladder here. Oh, okay. So that's a thing. Um, hold up. Just let me make sure that... Okay. Interesting. Um, so I need to fiddle with it a little bit, but uh, usually the trapdoor functions as a ladder as well But now we have the trapdoor here and I can go ahead and reach all the flowers that I need to and when I'm done Just flip it down and it doesn't look too bad When we're done and now then we also have this thing that I just thought would look a little bit cooler 
than just having nothing. I guess we could add a letter for te texture detail, but I think it's fine. I think this will serve us quite well, both for getting at the post, but also as a forward operating base. Now I just need to get the end stone for it. I need to get the tourist fruit and potentially get something for the floor. And I think I have an idea for that. Why did I go out and get end stone for the thing up top if I'm going to remove the floor, which perfectly fits in size? <laughs> right. uh, but hey, at, le at least I thought about it before I had to gather too much of it. This stuff is so slow to break. I cannot wait to get like, hopefully a diamond pickaxe from an end city so we can just tear through the stuff. Because this is absolutely painful. I remember another survival season one where I was forced to use a wooden, only wooden tools, both for wood and also for the netherrack. <laughs> Horrible times. Another project is definitely gonna be to make this bridge safer because I'm gonna be needing it a lot. And oh boy, yeah, yeah, no, not that bridge is just not safe. All right, I think we are pretty much done here. The final thing that I want to do is to remove that log right there, this one, and pretty much all of these that stick out by at the slab level here, like so, and then add in these, um, what are they called again? Glowing pillar, what? Lumino 4? Something like that. So it glows out as well. It looks very nice with this trap door. I added some up there as well, as you can see. Plus it lights up this room and this floor has been now made into helix tree planks with stripped helix tree bark every now and again just to break up the pattern and yeah this is just helix tree bark i don't know if i should make it this multi glow room lot let me know down below in the comments what you think and let me know in general what you think of this thing i'm pretty happy with this result feel like this could be better but it does serve a purpose. I'm going to be either in the next episode or off camera be planting the tourist fruit. I also do need to get home because I do need the tourist fruit because I don't want to eat up all this cooked and fish. Um, so yeah, I think this is a good time to end the episode right here and I can actually stand in here now and look at you guys probably <laughs> without getting attacked. But yeah guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. Wait, hold up. I missed one. Perfect. There we go. But yes, I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.